Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back along to another episode of Cornbrook Contracting. My name is Thomas, and I am playing Escort today, uh, to begin with. Uh, we are waiting. We're just going to pull a little bit further forward here. Block off this road. You, as you can see, we have got the combine. Uh, we are going out. It's it's late summer now, to be honest here. Uh, most of our local contracts around here at the moment are all spring drilled crops, so we're kind of kind of wait um, a little bit longer to get going this year round. Uh, but we are there now, and we're heading out. We've got some spring barley to go and tuck into this morning. Um, it's been a while. I hope like kind of just waiting for it to to be fit enough to go at. Uh, but hey, we're there now. Uh, so we've got Jamie behind us. He is in the uh, in the class. Uh, and then we've got Dave Carton for us today. I'm going to drop the header off here. We'll get uh, we'll get Jamie away going, and then we're going to uh, I'm going to jump in. We've actually got a surprise tractor on in store for us today, so that'll be interesting to see. I'm going to have a quick look at that one, and then do a bit of carting. And then once we get a far enough ahead, the hope is that we can uh, get some baling done as well before the moisture kicks in and really hampers that. Uh, but we're just taking it nice and slowly now. This header trailer is good, but it's not the uh, the safest really so it gets a little bit rickety uh, which is why we can take it slow keep the road all blocked up uh, get this combine over safely and uh, we've got a little bit of a convoy going uh, but yeah we are going up to uh, up on the hillside not onto hillside farm but on the hillside today uh, we've probably got I think it's four fields to work in and a big block there totaling probably in the region about 55 60 acres uh, so we'll have to see how that looks um, Annoyingly, like I say, there's four different fields, so it's going to mean four changes and transfers, so we might not get them all done today, but we can only try and do what we can. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Should probably get over the road a little bit more. There we go. But yeah, it's nice to get some harvesting done, get the old beast out of the shed. Uh, really get cracking with that today. Uh, everything is looking good. We've had some really nice weather of late. We've got a lot of our hay work done so far, which is a big relief. We had a lot to get cracking with. Um, and we're going in here now actually, so we're just going to take it nice and wide. And up we go, this is a bit steep though. Well, I think we're we'll just we'll stuck there. Yeah, we're sliding a little bit on that hill, that wasn't ideal. Never mind. We are in, there's a lot of mud still up here though. This place is forever bogged down with mud. And uh, we're going to go into here. So what I'm going to do, because I've got the header trailer on here, I'm going to swing out this way. Where are we there? Let's have a look, see how that looks. Perfect. Lovely stuff. So Jamie is our the, the combine driver. I typically drive the or do a lot of the foraging when it's needed. Uh, we will be looking to bring in our own forage harvester as well soon enough. Uh, perfect, he's on there. Uh, so Jamie does like to spend a lot of the time on the combine. Ooh, that's run downhill. There we go. Hello there, buddy. What's going on? Good, thank you. I'm all connected up and everything, so I'm just gonna get cracking on the field and uh, and and let you get back to uh, to going and catching and uh, getting a traction trailer for us. Although I think Dave, yeah, Dave's made it into the field behind us, so that's all good. Yeah, we're gonna have to be a bit careful. It's a bit muddy coming up that hill there. Uh, I barely got it is a little bit on, on the uh, off the road. Um, yeah, it was it was a little bit slippy seeing you come into there. Yeah, we might. I mean, going downhill will be all right there, but we'll just have to see how this field pans out. If it's a bit wet, maybe not fill the trailers full. Uh, maybe go two yeah. thirds, but we'll play it by ear, I guess. Um, I'm gonna just kind of pull out your way to let you get started, um, and then you crack on, and I'll go and take the landy back, and I'll bring back a uh, our special tractor. Okay, I will. Uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit then. Um, awesome. All right. Uh, let's get to it. Cracking, let's do this then. Okay, so. Okay, so we're just going to pull this forward out of the way for now, into the nettles. Let's just go and unhook this 
trailer. And we are finally up and running here, which is fantastic news. Okay then, so whilst Jamie makes his first time around the headlands, we're just going to... Hopefully oh, not crashing to Dave, wherever he is. There he is. We are going to take this back. Uh, and then we've got, like I say, we've got a special trailer. Uh, we have a special tractor and trailer today we're going to pick up. And uh, we're going to come back up here and just see how these guys are getting on. So we'll take this back and then we'll join you in just a little bit. Alright then folks, we are back at the yard here. And as you can see, we've got a different shade of blue here today. Uh, this is a demonstrator New Holland T7200. We're looking at removing or trading up Jamie's old New Holland here. And... Um, yeah, so this is kind of a logical step. This is a more modern machine, very similar. Uh, this one's a shade over 200 horsepower, uh, but lovely machine nonetheless. Uh, we're, we're borrowing it or demoing it from a local dealer, and he said if I'd like, if we're going to be using it for grain carting, would we like another trailer? So he's given us this 18-ton monster, which is rather nice of him. Uh, so we're going to jump on in. Um, obviously, we don't have any CB radio and or any. Uh, uh, we also don't have any stickers on this, but. N nonetheless, it is a very nice little tractor. Nice and clean, tidy. We're gonna, we've got this for about a week, uh, just under really. So we'll, Jamie will get a go in here as well to see what he thinks of it. But ultimately, it's not a bad little machine. Uh, so we're gonna head off, make sure we've got our lights on, and we'll head back on down to the field and we'll see what we can do. It is a little bit sticky leaving that gateway. Uh, I'm not sure what the rest of the field's like, but I imagine it's a bit of a bog. It uh, doesn't have very good drainage in there at all, so we'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, we'll head on over there, and then we'll we'll do a little bit of carting, see how that goes. What I might do after that is just drop the trailer off there, and then Dave can flick between the two trailers carting, because uh, I really want to, we've got to bail that straw, and it'd be ideal if we can get it bailed sooner rather than later, uh, just to see how it goes. But ultimately, it's a very nice, clean machine. This one is a demonstrator, so it has very few hours on the clock, uh, which is good. So we we might, I don't know if we'll go brand new, we might try and find a nice second-hand version. But uh, it's worth just having a quick play with the machines first, put them to the sword a little bit, test them, see how they work. Because, yeah, you always want to have a good idea of that. And around the corner we go. Yeah, this gateway is really messy. Struggled to get in here. It's really, really uh, sticky. This little first rise up here, this tractor's going to be covered by the time we get out of here. So they are somewhere over there, not quite sure where, but we'll just hang on fire, hold ourselves back here for a little while, and we'll uh, have a look and see what they're doing. Looks like he's making some fantastic pace through here, actually, he's really kicking on. Uh, which is a worry, because it might mean that the yield is not all that great. But, uh, we'll have to see, really. So it seems like he's coming through with a fair lick of nuts, which uh, is a surprise, but, you know, it means that we might get this all done today, which would be fantastic news. So this Mega Dominator, we've had this now for, this is our kind of first real season with it. Um, it is a little bit, it's an old machine, there's no doubt, it has some rattles, it has some charms, I think it could be said. Uh, but yeah, it's, it still does the work we needed it to do. Turned now quite a nice swath of straw here, which doesn't seem to be too damp actually, we should be able to get away with bailing that one this afternoon. Which would be ideal, Let's see if we can just get around past all of this noise. Too much noise and dust. Yeah, ultimately it's looking pretty good here, to be honest. Nice and uh, not too mu bad at all. Oh, 
We're already true, you're going to get a good idea of how the yields are coming in once we get this over the way bridge. Uh, gives an idea of what's coming off. We're not going to fill these two trailers full because it's a little bit sticky underfoot. Don't want to cause too much of a mess around here. But yeah, all being well, we should be good. So we're going to leave it here until I'm called into action. Uh, and then we'll... Yeah, we'll, we'll come back and see how we're getting on later on in the day. Oh, right, so that is Dave away there with his first load, and we'd best just jump in, because no doubt we're going to be needed pretty soon. Uh, so let's get my door shut here. And we'll head ourselves on around. We're just going to cruise around the corner here, and then we'll loop back around once we, uh, once we see where he is. He's coming up this this uh, hedge line here, so he should be okay. I'll tell you what, once we get another headland off here, there's not going to be a great deal of this field left, actually. It's very nice. So we've actually got a bit of a cart on today. We're going a few miles up the hill to a grain store, um, so it's going to be a little bit of a trek, but uh, that's why I brought the second tractor in today, just to make sure we can get it done. Uh, and we'll see from there. flying through here we've probably got another total contract work so far on the books of the combine we've probably got about three four hundred acres uh, it's not a great deal we are looking to try and get some more for next year with some winter crops we're gonna have to drill uh, and then we should be able to kick on from there so we'll have to see how that one turns out Jamie is really flying through this field though, absolutely booking it. Just trying to play around with the cruise control here on my joystick, make sure we get a nice speed so I can just kind of hover along behind him. That's the way to go. It does feel like there's a couple of wet spots though, particularly uh, in this corner. It looks a little bit sticky. There's a few ruts from where they've struggled to go turn around, so we might be in for a little bit of an issue here with the full trailer. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. All being well, Dave won't be too long on a round trip to get back. He has a couple of faster tractor. Um, so we'll have to wait and see how that one turns out, because we and hopefully there's no queue at the grain store, because that could hamper us as well. But it's nice to be cart and grain. I haven't been stuck in a cart and seat for a long time. Oh, uh, lights are on. Then. Oh, we're turning around the corner here. Let's just get ourselves back in there. I think it's probably going to burst. We just tip this, unload this here, and then I can get out of the way of him. Because at the moment, I ain't unloading on the turn. That is load number one, fully in the books here. Shouldn't take too much longer for us to get a full tank. That one load, uh, it's probably about yeah, about one third of a trailer load to be honest. Uh, we'll see how long it's going to take Dave to get back. We'll put at least one more tank load in there, maybe a little bit more. Um, but it's a little bit wet and sticky, so we might not go too heavy. But yeah, so far it's coming in quite quite thick in here then. If that's a third of a tank, that's about six ton we've got in the back of there, a third of a trailer load. 
Um, and then we've also already had one trail load that which probably had the best part of about eight, nine ton in there. So I'd have to have a proper check, but the spot weights look like they could be quite promising. All right then, so this is just about gonna see me off uh, once we get this load in here. Dave is back already, sitting there in the fast drive, ready to go. Uh, so we will take this load away just as soon as we're done here. We've got the little kind of awkward dog leg out of the way now, so uh, Jamie can just concentrate on getting the most of this field done, and we should be laughing actually at that stage. Alright, lovely stuff. Let's see what this little, little what this lovely little machine will do. Uh, nice little, I don't know if they call it hydrostatic or variotronic or what the, what it is in New Holland. CBT is it? But uh, this is a lovely little gearbox actually. Forward to go faster, backwards to slow down. Very nice. Uh, so we are just gonna slowly peek our head out of here. Lovely stuff. And we are away, just like that. It's nice and smooth in this acceleration actually. It's a really nice little tractor to get going through. Oh, and then I've got a probably in the region, this is a 16 ton trailer behind me, I think I've got in the region about 10, 11 ton. So it's not huge, but it's still enough to let you know that it's behind you. You can still really feel it on there. Well, we go. It's finally glad to see that these roadworks are all cleared up here. They were right pain. Right about here. I don't know what they were doing. Something with that telegraph pole, I think. Could probably do the front weight on here as well. It's a little bit light ended. The front end wants to dance around a little bit when you don't have any weights on the front. Now I think we're going up here. Yes, we are. Right, excellent. Not a bad little view this. I hope this bridge can hold the weight. That wasn't ever considered. Must be able to. There's a grain store up here somewhere. Must be able to hang on to that. Slow it down in here. Okay, so where are we going? Logic would state we're going down here. Alright, so we're going to get this tipped into here somehow, uh, and then we'll get ourselves back on the way. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to go in there. That would make the most sense. There's another dog here. That looks like the dog from our yard. That's weird. Excellent, so I'm going to get this into here, we're going to see if we can find the owner of this place, I need to get some ticket I think for this, and then we'll see, uh, we'll get ourselves back over to the field. Alright, we made it back into the field here, it really doesn't look like there's a great deal left to run at actually, uh, and Dave is still waiting there, so we might just leave this here. I think we'll go and have a bit of a wonder, we'll just shut the engine off here, I don't think we're going to be summoned for a while. Uh, so we're just going to have a bit of a wonder to see what's going on. Quite a fair bit of straw in here, so we'll probably be able to go and have a quick duck into that and see what's happening. Um, get this hopefully all bailed up today still. We will be moving, uh, so where, where we are here, we're going to be moving across into a couple of different fields. Uh, if I bring up our map here. We are, uh, we've got a couple to the south of us, um, awesome. and then a couple more just kind of up the hill there actually. So we're going to jump on into those. But yeah, so far so good. We're working through this very nicely. Uh, not as much straw coming off as I perhaps thought there would be. But uh, either way, we'll get this cut up, get this all bailed up and get. I think it's going to be pulled straight into a shed actually to keep it dry. Uh, there's a little bit of rain forecast for I think it's tomorrow morning. So ideally we get that all covered up before then. Uh, but for now, yeah, everything is looking pretty good. Oh, looks like the lights are on there. That's probably going to mean he's, I think that's 75% full with that uh, tank. But ultimately... Looking very good. 
flying through here. It's a great start to our spring harvest, if nothing else. Uh, but we will leave this here for now. Uh, so thank you ever so much for watching. I'm going to jump back into my tractor and await to be summoned. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. So until next time, thank you ever so much for watching Cornbrook Contracting. I have been Thomas. If you would like... Uh, or if you've liked what you've seen and would like to see more uh, don't forget to go and check out simulation for the nation where the rest of my videos are kindly hosted and do leave a like and subscribe if you're yet to and the same goes for Jamie if you are uh, enjoying his content he's his content is very kindly hosted by mr. virtual farmer so you can go and check him out over there uh, but for now though thank you ever so much for watching I hope you have enjoyed uh, we will see you in the next one where hopefully we'll be cracking on further with our spring harvest and uh, soon gonna be time to bring out the plow and get cracking on the uh, cultivation again uh, but until next time we'll catch you later